vets can provide comfort care for people in the hospital, but they aren't always available or practical for some patients. So some hospitals are introducing robotic pets. ABC 7 News reporter Liam Melendez explains how this new pilot program is turning skeptics into believers. Before you make any judgments, we ask that you come with an open mind. Easy to take care of these cats because they don't need to be fed. They don't need to be, go outside or anything like that. They just, they just stay with you um, inside all the time. Yeah. Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital now has 50 robotic cats and dogs for their patients on the Acute Care for Elders unit. They cost between $120 and $150. The dogs are slightly more expensive. Nurse Becky Rono remembers giving one to an agitated patient. So we gave our cat and she, it was like night and day. She really loved it. Um, she was petting it, talking to it definitely uh, helped reduce her agitation. This patient named her robotic pet Ruby. And while we were there, there was a sense of calmness because somehow the non-living brought comfort to the living. Whether um, a pet is living or it's a stuffed animal or doll, as an example, or it's this robotic pet, really doesn't matter. It's that opportunity to connect and feel connected. And that's what many of these elderly patients need. If they benefit the elderly, they're great for children. A Columbia University study found that these robot companions lowered pain and anxiety in children who were hospitalized. He or she agrees. Kim Meredith is the CEO of the San Francisco General Hospital Foundation. Since 2004, that foundation has raised $34 million thanks to the Heart Sculptures auction. That's how the robotic pet pilot program was funded. They look and sound so real that at times, a few patients seem to not realize the difference. We also had sometimes people think that there actually are, were real cats that uh, died and then we... Um, stuffed them up so it's like a taxidermy cat. So one, one of our patients said, I hope that was a happy cat when it was alive. So that was a funny story. Bringing laughter through technology is, in this case, the best medicine. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.